It is Wednesday, July 19th at about 8.15 p.m. I am currently outside of Ron John's. Ron John's surf shop here in Cocoa Beach at their free parking. Getting ready to head over for a nice evening stroll on the beach. Uh, I'm gonna try to film this even though it's um, rather dark. Uh, it says 90 minute courtesy parking. Limited strictly enforced by City of Cocoa Beach. City of Cocoa Beach parking permit is not valid. So the City of Cocoa Beach apparently will come by here and make sure you don't park more than an hour and a half. Uh, the reason they do that is because they have parking that they charge money for. Paid parking, metered parking. So I think they're keeping Ron John's from giving people free parking. Because then it takes away revenue from the city of Cocoa Beach. It would also keep van dwellers from uh, camping overnight. <laughs> I'm debating whether or not I want to push it and test it and see what happens if I try to sleep at Ron John's. I may try it. See if the city actually does enforce it. Of course, if they do, they'll give me a ticket. It is dark. Now, interestingly, um, what is it, about 8.30 right now? 8.30 p.m.? It doesn't seem as scary <laughs> here at the beach side at 8.30 at night. You know, I hear some of the same sounds I hear out at the yurt. It's weird. It's like here the crickets and the little weird bat sounds or whatever you hear don't sound so scary. But out at the yurt, you, you get like visions of the skunk ape. Or, you know, crazy armadillo with, um, what is that stuff, leprosy? Charging at you. You know, that's, that's what I picture in my head, at least when I was out there walking around in the woods in the dark. Um, I think I like it better here. <laughs> out in the open on the, the, the city here. This is uh, what Ron John's looks like at night. We got the flags here, the United States, Florida, and um, I don't know what that red one is. We got the state, the government, and maybe Brevard County. I don't know. I don't know what that red one is. Or is it a Ron John's flag? Look at that beautiful sunset. Isn't that fantastic? This, uh, this building right ahead in front of me, I, it's known as Faulty Towers. It used to be a nude motel or nude... Um, Resort. I don't think it's nude anymore. I don't know because I see that they've opened it up and sometimes you can see people sitting out there. But it used to be one of the few nude resorts around here in um, Brevard County in um, Coco. Let's see. For those of you who've never been in this area, um, this this section that I'm at is actually at the end of um, State Road 520. If you come down I-95, then you take 520 east. This is uh, this road right here that you're looking in front of me. I think it's this road, or the next one over. Anyhow, that's the end of 520. And, um, yeah, I think it's the next road over. It's the end of 520, and it ends at um, Cocoa Beach. And if you head down A1A, which is this main road right here, um, you take a, if you head A1A south, you'll hit Ron John's within a block. And then, um, this whole section right here is, um, all touristy. And if you go up north over that way, you're heading towards Port Canaveral. Which, uh, if you've been watching, uh, the Living in a Van series, I've done some segments up there at Port Canaveral. Um, contemplating taking a shower here. I've done it before. I don't know if I showed it in a previous segment, but um, this is the showers behind Ron John's. Um, it's for beach showering. 
And I've showered here before when I was living in the van when I first went began my journey. Um, just to show you what they look like here. I know you can't see anything. I don't think my light's on. Yeah, I have my lights off because I didn't want people seeing me shine the light. But let me try to find one with lights. This spot right here with light. There's another one. There's a whole bunch of showers. You push the knob. I don't know if you can see the water coming down there. It's a nice shower. So I might try to take a real quick shower. I haven't had a shower in two days. Whew. Uh, I'm beginning to wonder if I smell like a skunk ape. Maybe that's where the skunk ape came from. It's just some Asian dude running around in the woods smelling stinky because he hadn't showered for a while. Huh. So here we are going to the beach access. During the daytime they charge parking here um, at this beach access. I'm not sure if you can park here at night. It says no glass, no dogs, no littering, except for wheelchairs, no motorized personal mobility devices allowed. I guess that even includes those scooters. This whole parking lot right here, which you can't see, <laughs> is um, paid parking by the city of Coco. Anyhow, it is getting too dark on the video here for you to see anything. I'm sorry for kids. But it is um, a little too dark to see anything, so I think I'm going to go ahead and shut the video off. Unless you just want to listen to my commentary in the dark. Until next time, everybody. Have a great night. Take care. Thanks for joining me. I know from your perspective, you're seeing pitch black. But there was a spectacular lightning. There's still some more there. I don't know if you can see it in the distance. But there was lightning that lit up the entire sky. And it lasted for like two or three seconds. And I missed it, of course, because I had the video camera off, which is why the camera's on now. This is the beach and the water. I guess the only way to show you anything is to point it up close, where the camera light can shine down and show you the waves coming in. See the water here is where I'm at. Isn't this great? I haven't been out to the beach in um, probably more than a month, and I miss it. If you've uh, been following the Living in a Van series, you know that I spend a lot of time at the beach when I can. And because of the situation with the yurt, I wasn't able to be at the beach, obviously. Palm Bay and the compound is, um, oh, I'm trying to get the, uh, the lightning here. It just lit up the sky again, but by the time I point out the camera, I don't know if you saw that or not. That's only lasting like a fraction of a second. I hope you're not hearing too much wind noise and can actually hear the ocean here. Even though it looks really bright, I think this camera's not picking up the lightning flashes. Um, lightning is hitting in the distance. I'm not sure if standing in this water is such a smart idea. <laughs> Maybe I will back out of the water. But lightning is striking the water out there in the ocean and lighting up the whole sky. But we're not picking it up on this little camera here. So... The only thing you can really pick up is uh, here, my feet, <laughs> walking backwards. I guess I could film myself walking and talking. I don't know if it picks up. Okay, looking at the sky there and the little blue spot, it doesn't pick up that little blue spot in the sky. This camera is really weird. It picks up certain things, but not other things. But yes, it does pick up my feet. So I suppose... I could do a walking, talking episode where you're kind of just looking at my feet because otherwise there's nothing to look at. Just darkness. Hey, look! Shoes! 
I wonder who they belong to. It says Ken Z. Kim Z. Funny, they look like my shoes. <laughs> I guess I must have um, left the shoes right at the sign for Kinsey. Okay, more of the sky light up. And the camera's not picking it up. I think I might give up. Can you see the skyline over there? Oh man, there goes the sky. Oh, we got that on camera. Maybe just a little bit. It's beautiful out here. The lightning is just like hitting the water and the whole horizon is lighting up um, kind of a pinkish orange color. I know this camera didn't pick it up, or it picked up part of it. But I'm hoping for another awesome shot where it's like an extended strike like before where it hit and hit and hit and hit. It was like a second and a half of lightning. There's still some little minor flashes, but I don't think they're showing up. Did it get it? That was a big one. I hope the, the wind noise is not being picked up by the microphone or this video is going to be hard uh, to watch or listen to. There is quite a breeze blowing. The sound of the ocean is awesome. I've missed you so much, ocean. Trying to tilt the camera so the um, the wind doesn't hit the microphone directly. There are some people walking down the beach. I don't know if you can see the light over there. It's a flashlight or another cell phone. Somebody filming in the dark. Over on this end, I know you don't see anything. The little light area right there is some buildings, but um, that little area right there that juts out, that is the Cocoa Beach Pier. Wow, bicycle just rode by. Did you see that? Look at that. Isn't that cool? Look at the little tire spinning. Now that is cool. It's a bunch of little kids. So. Don't bicycles look cool in the dark on the beach? That is awesome. So those people that I saw with the lights there were um, bicycles. The bicyclists, of the whole group of them. Like a family. Um, it was really cool to watch them spinning by though. That was neat. All right. I'm pretty sure you guys are bored by now of um, watching a video of darkness at the beach. I wish the camera could actually pick up what I'm actually seeing. Um, it is pretty much dark, dark because the moon's not out. But in real life out here, it's not pitch black like it would be at the yurt. It's kind of, um, I would say like 90% dark. And you can see the um, lightning hitting the water and lighting up the skyline. As well as um, the beach line right here. The 
waterfront. You can see all the lights and stuff in the city. It's really cool looking. Anyhow, I think I'm going to call it a night and um, start to head back because it looks like my camera's not really going to pick up those awesome lightning flashes. They really are awesome. I wish I could share them with you guys. So, I think I'm back down to just filming my feet. <laughs> you know, I think this video probably as weird is that paint yeah that's paint yeah paint all over me i think this video is as weird as the one where i'm pushing the um the porta potty down the compound when i discovered the porta potty and i was trying to figure out what to do with it and i had a brilliant idea to push that porta potty to camp freedom too Where else can you tune in to a channel and just watch feet walking on the beach in the dark? I keep expecting the skunk ape to jump out at any moment. But I'm beginning to suspect that um, skunk apes don't like the beach. All right, we are on the boardwalk. Okay, that wasn't a skunk ape, right? That was uh, just, uh, I think, a trash can or something that somebody stuck up there on. <laughs> uh, it, just in case you uh, find yourself out this way, I want to let you know there is um, washing areas here. They have showers you can use. This is the beach shower, which is right here. It's got the little handle right here. You just push it. Okay, maybe you don't push it. It seems to be turned off for some reason. Ugh! It says, showers are for rinsing only. No soaps, no shampoo. And it's off. So normally they have a shower. I don't know if the city shuts it off at a certain time. There's the um, gate where they... They have a truck blocking the gate so they don't want people here at night. At least not parked in the city parking that they charge money for. But I suppose you could do like me and park at Ron John's and um, just walk over here. It's like a block away to the beach. Anyhow, I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I can't believe you actually... Did any of you actually watch this whole video through? <laughs> Let me know if you did. Until next time, everybody. Have a great day.